welcome to this new video. Today we will talk about Data Cloud and the integration with MuleSoft. Um, so the first things that we will do is we will go to create a connected app within uh, the uh, Salesforce setup. So I will click on um, App Manager and I will click create a new connected app. Then I will give it a name. So it will be uh, MuleSoft Ingestion API uh, V1. And uh, my email will be arthur at sky.com.au. Okay. Um, then what I will do is I will enable uh, authentication settings and I will select um, I will select the URL callback that is specified as an example here. Then I will um, select enable client credential flow so that I can log in with my username and password. And then I will search for uh, different permissions. So perform segment on data cloud data, yes. Uh, perform in the SQL query on data cloud data, yes. Manage user data via web browser, yes. Um, manage data cloud profile data. Manage data cloud ingestion API data. Manage data cloud identity resolution data. Manage data cloud calculated insight. Um, access all data cloud API resource. I will put that as well. And that should be pretty much it. I'm having a last look. Okay. That seems to be pretty good. Okay. So now that I have that, I can save my connected app. And then I will uh, go into auth, um, auth uh, and open ID connect setting. So I will make sure that this settings is turned on because this will allow us when we connect to the API to just use like the username and password instead of, uh, for example, uh, a GW authentication token. Then I will go back into um, data cloud in setup, and I will create ingestion API. Within ingestion API, I will create a new ingestion in API called MuleSoft ingestion API v1, and I will click save. After that, I will have to upload a schema. So the schema is basically the structure of the data that you are sending. And for that, I will need to send uh, a YAML, uh, YAML file. So as you can see, here is the structure of the data that we will send with the different object here and the different field and their type. So once I load that into Data Cloud, I'm able to um, save. And I can see pair object, I can review. I will save that. And now, as you can see, the connector status says that we need um, a data stream. So I will go into Data Cloud. And I will be creating a new um, data, data stream. Yeah. I will click New. And I will click Ingestion API. Uh, here, I will select the ingestion API that we just created. And I will select one of the objects. I can select three of them. If I select the three of them, three data stream will be created. But in our case, I will only select one, which is sales customer. So we have three different type of data within Data Cloud. Uh, in our case, here, sales customer is a profile type. Um, and we will identify all the user by ID. And then uh, Data Cloud asks you, uh, as us, uh, record modified field, so I will put modified date. Uh, once I select the, the 10 field, I just confirm that this data set, uh, data stream will be created within the default data space, and I can click deploy. And now I will have uh, the data stream that will be active. If I go back to the ing ingestion API and refresh. I will be able to see that my connector status is in use. And also, if I go back uh, to 
my connected app. So I will go into uh, connected app that we created together. Um, I will I will have a look at the uh, credentials. So I should be able to see uh, tac 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 data cloud admin. Check. Connected up. So I will go into app and app manager. And here I will just view my my connected app that I've created. And here, as you can see, I have consumer key and secret. And if I click here, so I will just post that while here, as you can see, I have two uh, tokens that I will be using uh, when connecting my uh, connected app to like Mulsoft. So you will have like the customer key and the customer secret. Uh, you can also generate stage, uh, stage uh, key. And once you are happy with the stage key, you can click apply. And then the stage key will reply I uh, will replace as uh, a general one. Um, so that's pretty much it uh, in terms of data that you might require. Um, so as we saw, you will need the probably like the customer key and the customer secret. You will also need uh, your Salesforce username and password and probably like the endpoint of um, like, like the connected app. Um, so that's pretty much it on like the requirements that you need to activate to connect Data Cloud uh, to Mulsoft. If you have any question, please let us know. And thank you for watching this video. Thank you.